Bustafem is instantly recognizable as Dora Maar. Depicted here, though, as she has never been portrayed before. She's dressed in arms and armor, ready to take up a lance and sword, representing the archetypical fighting queen, and portrayed as the 20th century Joan of Arc. Dora had already done two years service earlier as the Weeping Woman after Picasso painted Guernica in 1937. Here she widens her eyes in the shape of glowing red cherries as if mesmerized and a prescient thought of things to come with the onset of World War II. Picasso painted Bouche de Femme on the 28th of March in 1939, not quite two weeks after Hitler entered Prague with his armies. Even worse for Picasso, on the 28th of March, Madrid fell to General Franco's fascist army. Dora's cherry red eyes in the present portrait allude to the Passion of Christ, the ultimate sacrifice in martyrdom. Artists often included cherries in their table settings of the Last Supper. Dora was raven-haired, but here Picasso has given her red highlights to match her eyes. Joan of Arc, although described in her trial records as having black hair, was often portrayed as a redhead suggesting her acceptance of the fiery bellicose spirit she would need to achieve the redemption of her king and country. From his knowledge of the old masters, Picasso gives reference to the plate armor that was worn in medieval times. Dora is seen wearing the protective shoulder guards known as pauldrons, below which the joined bands called spalders encircle her upper arms. Picasso's version of a knight's breastplate makes allowances for Dora's formidable dagger-shaped breast and it may even appear that she has cut down her right breast, as Amazons are reputed to have done in order to more freely wield a bow and arrow. Dora Maar would remain the defining central presence in Picasso's wartime paintings. His paintings of her, dating to the most historically critical period of 20th century art, have exercised a far greater impact on the course of modern art.